This is my Raspberry Pi. That credit card size $35 microcomputer. And a miracle of modern engineering, in my opinion. Roughly the same capabilities as the first Xbox, and it is only about 5 inches wide. What could be more amazing than that? Why, a Raspberry Pi hooked up to a 9 volt battery, of course. Now, if you see here, the one problem I had with the Raspberry Pi was that you had to plug it into a wall, and it was not very portable. But, this weekend, after a lot of research and a lot of thinking, I solved it. So, here you go 9 volt battery. Basically, how it works is I got a 9 volt battery here and it plugs into this capacitor right here. Now this is a 22 microfarad capacitor and what a capacitor does is it basically levels out the current of um, electricity and basically makes sure that any like peaks or waves of uneven current besides the quantum current come in then it levels it out and makes it even. So, and um, Here's my voltage regulator. Next is the voltage regulator here, and um, what it, it takes the nine volt input and drops it down to five volts. That the that is usable by the Raspberry Pi. So, thought you don't want to burn out your Raspberry Pi with too many volts. Next, another capacitor, same one, 22 microfarads. Um, it's uh, it's actually kind of useless because after this one. It's already leveled out uh, all the way through the uh, regulator, but you know it can't hurt. And some people online they're saying you had you had to use it, but from what I've seen and I've tested with my multimeter without this is just fine, but it doesn't hurt. So, and next I took apart an old Android mini USB cable. I pulled the wires out, um, found which ones did what. There's a couple data cables and there's a five volt input and a ground. And um, so I pulled those out and soldered in some leads and stuff. So, and uh, this is right now, it's on my proto board. I'm um, just roughed out basically. The next step is going to be putting it onto a project board like this. So it's going to be all soldered in, all nice. So then it can fit inside or under my case just like that. And um, for those of you who don't know how big the Raspberry Pi actually is, this is a good example. This is my smartphone right here. That's how big it is. Very small. Or maybe a better example might be smartphone's kind of big, but this is a mechanical pencil in comparison. It's very small, very compact, and like I said, same power as the first Xbox. It's very amazing. So, yeah, that's my next step putting it on a project board. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and maybe you thought about doing something cool like this yourself.